Alright all right guys, what's, what's up guys and gals, it's Thomas Final one here, and today, the storm has progressed into rain, as this is night vlog number three, as you can't see me, and I'm sure, it's, and I probably can't see you, but I'm gonna give you guys a quick little update on uh, Pokemon Sun, um, sorry, it's raining and I gotta put a head on here, but, um, so far, I'm at the Aether Corporation, and... Like I stated in the last video, Team Skull was just a real big letdown for me, and a huge turnoff, but after a while, it starts to grow on you. I mean, I don't, I still don't like the hip-hop, but, you know, it's not about, it's not about the, that, and I did notice something um, in my last video that I said, single wives who have just been married, um without any kids i think i said that um i was tired and i couldn't say much without you know screwing something up but you know that was something else but also in the video that i posted just a few just a few hours ago or you know whenever this gets out but um that was actually i was actually really 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 excited till i act till the last duck because it started to whine at me and I was like, oh, that represents innocence. And then I looked into its eyes and it felt like it was staring into my soul. But um, that was actually, um, that's my nickname around the house. It's Darren. Um, it's my nickname around the house, literally. But um, they said that, um, well, my grandfather was actually going to teach my dad how to kill a couple of ducks. Because my stepmother was like... Alright, um, he wants a duck, 20 bucks, unless he teaches you how to kill it. And he, my grandfather, you know, did his, did his thing, and they, and I don't know if you guys saw it, but I got the kill of one duck, um, I don't know if that's gonna get taken off of YouTube for any sort of thing like that, but, uh, it was, it was really, it was an experience, I will say that. I am excited because they didn't name the ducks. Actually, they named one of them. They named one of them Tom Jr. because Tom at the house was just a pain in the butt. And so was his son. But but um, they didn't name the other two. And I was like, well, I cracked a joke. I know there are some people who would advise against that. But I called them Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> and that's probably what they're going to get eaten for. But... Um, that was, that was, um, my night. I also went to go see Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. That is definitely worth going to go see, guys. I would recommend it 100%. 100, actually, no, 110%. I mean, uh, for those of you who don't know, Fantastic Beasts and where to find them is basically the spinoff of Harry Potter. It's, um, the beginning of it. Um, warning, this video will contain spoilers as I talk about Gellert Grindelwald. Um, so for those of you who do not know, in the movies, it kind of set up Gellert Grindelwald as a, as a, you know, a, uh, as a criminal. And so they, and so his, what he was basically doing is he was breaking, um, wizarding law by going and exposing the wizarding world. Because the human, because, you know, us muggles or non-mages, that's what they that's what they're called in Fantastic Beasts. We don't know um, anything about the Wizarding World, and we're not supposed to. We're supposed to leave that for the discovery of the Wizarding World. But a non-mage named Jem Jeremy or James or whichever I can't remember his name, but he's big. He's you know he's looks like a New Yorker, I guess. But um, he basically was the one who. He's a not he's a muggle or a non madge and he is um he basically gets to experience the wizarding world for a long period of time. And so it's and so in the end they you know, obliviate his mind to, you know, of course. We also got to see some new spells. Um there was Revilium. I was really excited about that. Um that was really cool because Gellert Grindelwald disguised himself as um, a, an American magical agent for the C, for the CM, CMBA or something like that. 
and I can't remember what that was like, but, uh, but, you know, but he, um, he disguised himself as one of the, those agents and hired a squib, or at least he thought was a squib. And for those of you who do not know what squib is, squib means that you were born into a magical family, but you don't have any magical talent. Um, for what we thought was a squib, he entrusted a squib to, um, to get information for him on the streets. And so that was interesting. We also learned about a bunch of new things, such as the animals and all that. You'll have to go see the movie in order to figure out those ones because it was just too amazing. There were a ton of Easter eggs in the movie, literally. One Easter egg said that there was, um, it showed the Deathly Hollows. It showed, you know, the triangle with the, with the circle and the, and the uh, line down the middle. Uh, and otherwise known for the wand, the stone, and the invisibility cloak. And um, it was the sign of Gellert Grindelwald and all that fun stuff. But there was that one. There was the um, Hogwarts. There was Albus Dumbledore. There was um, Muggles. There was also, um, in the end, there was a reference to, in the, in the Harry Potter films, not... Did not and not including uh, fa- not including Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. Um, it showed that Newt dated Bellatrix Lestrange's great great gr- or great grandmother, great grand great grandmother, yeah yeah, yeah great grandmother. But um, she was like Lydia Lestrange or something like that, and I was like, oh, that's just interesting. But they're making Gellert Grindelwald out to be the Voldemort of the of the nineteen twenties. And so that's what this movie's all about. It's all about finding Grindelwald, figuring out what these creatures can do, figuring out, figuring out the mysteries. In you know, as you can see, there's two lights over there. It's probably UFO. Hmm. Get those things everywhere around here. But um, but it's basically about Gellert Grindelwald and how all that fun about all that. But enough about me spoiling it for you. You guys got to go see the movie. Um, Go see the movie for yourself, please. Um, It's really, really good. They're going to make, I was told, another four more movies on this. Because Harry Harry Potter is just a series that we just can't let die. But um, before I go, I do want to say that I have gotten to the Aether Corporation. I am going to battle um, a bunch of Team Skull Grunts. And then I'm going to help Gladian, that's his name. Um, defeat uh, Guzman, the uh, Team Skull boss, and then I'm gonna think I'm gonna catch an Ultra Beast. I think it's either gonna be Saul Galeo or um, an Ultra Beast or Cosmog, one of the two. But um, anyways, that's that's it for now. Don't forget to don't forget to subscribe for more content, please. Leave me comments, like good comments, not the stupid ones that are like, uh, "Do you love me?" That was one of them. Um, don't be an a, don't be a, a jerk about it and say, you know, oh, you missed a bunch of things that you didn't talk about in the movie or that you didn't talk about. Um, don't don't be one of those people. Um, please give me good info. Um, I'm going to get you guys a Thomas and Friends goofs video out by Thanksgiving. I haven't had the time caught up with Pokemon Sun and going to see movies and going to, you know, cleaning ducks and figuring all that out. But, um, anyways, this is Thomas Round of One saying don't forget to subscribe for more content. Um, don't forget to geek out. Don't forget to have an awesome time during the month of November. I may not be because it's freaking cold out right now. It's probably warm in my house right now, but, uh, please subscribe for more content. Please, please don't forget to hit hit, 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 hit that subscribe button. And, um, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Night Vlog, which will be tomorrow. So, yeah. Uh, Also, don't forget to geek out, and don't forget to keep playing with them trains, and goodbye.